Today is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2020. Welcome to the channel. Welcome on the streams. You'll see in my background, Animal Crossing is getting ready to go. Johnny Nikon, J. Vader. We have a family-friendly channel where we play video games. I play games with my son, J. Vader, my number one, and a collection of other friends. He's currently on the Zoom call with some of his pals. They've been playing all morning. Currently, they're doing Among Us. I thought we were going to get on some uh, Fortnite squads before I jumped into Animal Crossing, but... Animal Crossing has taken over first place because they're busy. So, as you know, the kids don't always want to play with me right away. Hey, hi, how you doing? Happy Christmas Eve. Maybe we'll play some Fortnite in a little bit. Wait a minute. Let's play some Fortnite when you're done with them. Instead of we're done, and once you're done, I don't want to spoil your plans. Once you're done, then maybe they got time for us. <laughs> Let me get my uh, thing popped out. So, uh, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. I'm going to jump in and do a little bit of this, but as you have just heard, we might switch. Oh, wait. Shoot, darn it. I gotta wait for the refresh screen. So we might jump over to uh, do some Fortnite here. And what I'll probably do if that happens, I'll stop the stream so I can change the title. Because I know some people are watching the feed and they jump on expecting to see Animal Crossing, but then they see Fortnite and then they get confused. Yeah. So we'll probably stop and start over if we switch games but for now i'm jumping on animal crossing today is toy day ladies and gentlemen let's see what's happening oh and i got my uh once the game comes back we'll see what's happening with our screen aha uh -huh, isabel's got a christmas hat on Hello there, everyone. Right now, it's 128 on Thursday, December 24th. Today is Toy Day. And I saw a certain someone on the island with a magic bag of presents. If you see him, why not try asking for a present? It can't hurt, right? That's all for today. Have fun day out there. Thank you, Isabel. That's Isabel, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I forgot about my tree. I put this money tree right here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta let that grow up and then get uh, do some maintenance. Can't see my my mailbox. Okay. I also want to. I also want to get rid of, uh, I want to, uh, I got gifts to give my villagers. So I kind of need to get ready for that. Let me get in here and, let me get in here and do my thing. So I'll do my island maintenance, make my way around, try and do another snowman. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um, in storage. I did buy him consider giving a mini circuit RC car or uh, track car racing set to one of the guys. Oh no wait, I gotta hang I gotta hang I gotta hang my stockings up right now. Oh well wait a minute, we gotta switch to we're gonna switch to uh, how do I do it? How do I switch? Plus, want the wall? I can take this stuff down. And I want to place. Wait a minute. Okay. 
Oh, that's the way. Like, we walk in the room, of course. I'm going to hang that over the high five. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like it. Back to floor. Finish. See, I almost forgot about my stockings. I dig it. All right. I am going to get rid of. I'm going to sell some of these things that are just in my pocket. I don't know when I'm going to need those. Um, I've only got three of those big, big things, darn it. Wait, no. Okay. You're going to see what I bought to give as gifts to all my villagers right here. See? Move to pocket. Move to pocket. Move to pocket. All right. I believe those are my gifts. That's what we got going on. Ho, ho, ho. Hi. One crazy gram is in. Hello, hello. Happy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Have you done any of your Animal Crossing yet? I'm just getting started. I thought I was going to play some games with Jackson, but they're doing something else. So I jumped right onto this. What I plan to do today is give these gifts out to some of my villagers. So if you're just stopping in, thanks for stopping by. If you're checking us out online, I appreciate you coming in. We have a family-friendly channel. Normally, I'm playing with my, my number one, Jackson, and it's, they're being real loud right now. They're doing uh, they're on a Zoom call, and they're playing Among Us. They didn't want to play with me yet, so. Actually, the friends online were like, hey, your dad's online? Let's, let's stream. They love to get on and play, but Jackson's holding back, so whatever. We've got... Oh, I hear him calling for Fortnite. So, uh, here we are, and we're going to go see. We're going to go see what we can see. It's snowing. It is snowing. Oh, everybody's got their Christmas hats on. Nice. A couple of my villagers are out. They've got their... Uh, you got the festive wrap. No try Mike is calling for Fortnite. Uh, we got, we may be getting to Fortnite soon. If you wonder why I'm playing with this kid making a bunch of racket in the background, normally I'm playing with him. They're playing Among Us. They don't want me in there. Uh, I thought we would play some Fortnite first, Animal Crossing second, but like I said, I'm kind of uh, here on my own, so. I'm doing my own thing. All right, here we go. Oh, here he is. Jingle. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. I'm Jingle, the black nosed reindeer. <laughs> Not red nosed. This is the most special and exciting time of year, isn't it? And today, the most exciting day of all. No try my hang in there or check back in a little bit. We'll be playing Fortnite. No, what's your hat? What's your hat gonna be? What's your hat gonna be? But currently they're all on a Zoom call. So I don't know how anybody's gonna win. Gonna they're all telling each other if they're crewmate or imposter. But as soon as they're ready to play with me, we'll jump on Fortnite and do something. It's toy day. Now I've got the very best job I could think of in the whole world. I get to help Santa deliver presents. So, ho, 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 how's your toy day going so far? I hope it's as merry as can be. Unfortunately, I've got a small problem. That's not very merry at all. I forgot the wrapping paper. Oh, I have presidents big and small. 
perfectly tailored for the big guy for everyone on the island. But what's the use if they aren't wrapped in festive paper? Can one even feel joy without festive paper? <laughs> ho ho! I just thought, I just had a thought. Something about DIY, why not? What do you say, kid? Can you help? It would behoove us both, uh, even though I'm kind of all set hoop wise. Here's the recipe. Oh, the wrapping. That's the one Crazy Grand says. You got the festive wrap. We'll pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Just need three pieces of this special wrapping paper. And you save the day. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll make him some wrapping paper. I will. Hey, what's happening? Oh, T oh Gigi Baby Henry looks like he updated his name. TTV Gigi Baby Henry. Thank you for the refollow. Or maybe he's on a different, uh, maybe he's on a different phone or on a, a different program or something. I was coming in here just to see what they had, and I already had that tent. Go to garbage. Go to garbage. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. We're doing some Animal Crossing. Today is Christmas Eve, so Animal Crossing is hosting its annual toy day. Here it is. I uh, I have my festive winter outfit on with my uh, full-blown goggles and my COVID-approved uh, safety mask. And it's red. Oh, I'm supposed to be making three pieces of wrapping paper for Jingle because he has a bunch of gifts for everybody but didn't wrap it. Let's craft. Let's see what I need. First, I put everything. I emptied my pockets. Oh, wait. Stand by. First, I have to... First, I have to stand by. Stand by. I got this. I played before. First, you gotta learn the festive wrapping paper thing. Sweet. I learned the festive wrapping paper. I put in my pockets a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna give out as gifts to my people, too. I got doll houses for the girls and tin robots for the guys. Not that girls have to have dollhouses. I gave that whole disclaimer yet when I was buying them from the store, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh wait, now I'm ready to make the. Now I'm ready to make the wrapping paper. Let's craft. There's the festive wrapping paper. He wants three of these. I need one of each color. So let me go in my house. I have it. And get three of each color ornaments. Then I'll be able to do it. Oops. I'm doing it. Oh, mom's dressed like Santa. Mom just came in saying, We're missing out. Toy Day's a lot of fun. Jay Vader's busy with not playing with me. I'm on it. I'm on my toy day. I'm just getting started. Stand by. You've seen me before. If you've watched me play Animal, Animal Crossing, I assume I know how to use the little menu across the top. I spend more time going through there than if I just were to... Uh-oh, I have a real problem ahead of, my, ahead of me. I only have one blue one. I got a real problem. I got a real problem. I need three blue ones. So before I can even craft three pieces of paper. I stream whatever you guys will play with me. We're going to do some Fortnite in a few minutes. You going to play? See, Jackson like doesn't like it when I uh, start asking the friends because the friends want to play. They want it on the stream. Jackson's acting all... He keeps acting all bent out of shape like he doesn't want to get on the stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like that? That's right. I sent you all that stuff. Uh, uh, no Try Mike was asking about the uh, telescope photos, etc. No, don't, don't. I need two more tasks. I didn't finish two more tasks. 
Ooh, he gave me a. He gave me a thing. We had the big uh, planetary. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, the two planets were close together. They appeared to be close together in the sky just the other night. So, of course, I had the telescope set up. If you don't know, I'm into that. I'm into telescopes, astrophotography. I take a lot of pictures with my telescope. And so we set up, obviously, for the big event. And we got a good look at Jupiter and Saturn in the telescope in the same eye field. Real cool. So uh, I did that. I could not get a picture of it. And I, I had done some practice photos leading up to the night. Because it's, it's sort of two different technologies that we'll take pictures of. Deep space objects and a different technology that will take Wait, pictures on, of planets. Um, planets is sort of like a, what we would have referred to a long time ago uh, uh, as a webcam. They're, they're beyond that now. It's not a simple webcam anymore. It's, it's a dedicated astronomy camera. Cameras that are good for planetary view uh, photos basically are a video webcam. Hey, Jackson, what's happening? Hi. Happy Christmas Eve, dude. Look at I, uh, what I'm doing with your camera. I got it honed in on the Christmas tree behind me, the Star Wars only Christmas tree. So we got a little close-up on a few of those pieces. I think tomorrow we're going to take that camera off. Hi. Uh, and we're going to do a little tour of the Star Wars Christmas tree because some of those ornaments all make sound and stuff. Hi, 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 <laughs> There's Jackson hi. on the JV cam. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Hi. To get started on my Animal Crossing toy day. What are you over here for, dude? What's up? You want to play? Oh, you guys are getting on Fortnite? Okay, stand by. Let me do the first. Let me do the. Okay, I got. My prayers were answered. See, I needed two more blue. I got two blue, and now I'm going to uh, make my wrapping paper and give it a jingle. And then get make And then we're going to jump over and do some uh, uh, Fortnite with the gang. Pull. I'm a pull hair bear. But back to what I'm saying about my astronomy stuff. Listen, I got to tell you. Uh, no Try Mike, I do have an Instagram, which is just my name, John Wolfile. And on there, I do a lot of barbecue. I'm into barbecue. It's all barbecue. And some of my astronomy stuff, not a ton. Uh, the Johnny Nikon one that you found me on is was really just for the, the Twitch channel. It's all going to be video game related stuff. And stuff from the channel. You really need a telescope. You see a lot of random stars. And you want to look at better. It's a lot of fun. If you're serious about it, I'll give you some coaching. Now, I'm no expert, but I'll point you in the direction of some experts online. Some videos you can watch, some channels you can follow. There's guys out there that know a lot of stuff, and they'll coach you on what to buy and all that stuff. I'll give you my input, my two cents. I've been doing this for... All right. I probably have been doing it since... Join, join, join. 2005 is probably when I bought my first telescope. Maybe even maybe even long before that. Now that I think about it. But I got serious into it in about 2006 and bought a new telescope. Uh, seven and eight is when I started to dabble in uh, doing outreaches where we used to live in Orange County, California, Southern California. I was uh, part of the Orange County Astronomers Club, and we would volunteer our time at schools and stuff for kids, and we would. We would go set our telescopes up and show the kids the night sky at their science fair and all that stuff. Super fun. What should we do? And so uh, I did that for a long time before I really got into photography. And then in like 2008, 9, and 10, I was mad on astrophotography. That's where you kind of advance away from visuals into connecting your camera to your telescope, obviously. Oh, shoot. I didn't make the paper yet. And taking pictures. So I did a bunch of that for years. And then we had a baby. We had a baby. Uh, we moved. Uh, got busy with work and other stuff. And 
The photography stuff kind of fell to the wayside, didn't do a lot of it. We moved again to this house, and so we have a backyard. Before we were in a condo, we had a big backyard before we were in a city. We moved a little out in the outskirts of the city, so it's a little bit darker out here. Set the telescope up, and now, man, it's just full-blown all over again. So I'll give my two cents on uh, all that. Who got a gaming chair? What'd you get? Johnny got a gaming chair. What? He's going to play better today. I'm listening in on the Zoom call over here. So, yeah, no try mic. I will uh, I will uh, point you in the right direction. Because it's easy for people to say, and this is what happens sometimes, here's what you need to get started in, in astronomy and astrophotography. And they give you this laundry list of stuff that costs you $6,000, right? And you're like, well, I meant, uh, I meant beginner. So I, we could talk more about that. Fist exists. Merry Christmas Eve. What's happening? Fist exists is somebody we were expecting to see here in the next couple of days, which now is not. LED the goat coming in. Happy holidays, LED. Thank you very much for stopping in. I know you got a busy day today. You got a lot of people to visit. I appreciate your time and you coming by. Thanks a lot. Everybody, thanks for coming in. Happy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Hopefully everybody is spending time with the people that matter to them most. Like me, I guess. If you're coming by, I appreciate the time that you're spending here with us. So, uh, I know a lot of people are online saying, oh, I'm not going to be on for Christmas and Christmas Eve. That's my family time. And I'm blessed again and lucky. This is my family. And this is my family time. So I'm lucky to be able to play with my son. My wife's out there in the front room. She just popped her head in saying, hey, get on your Animal Crossing. Get your toy day going. So that's what we're doing. So our family is here. Fist exists. One crazy gram. That's my mom, Jackson's grandma. So we're all going to be on. I think she's on with my wife out there on Animal Crossing. I can kind of hear them out there talking. So uh, this is what we're, uh, what we're doing. And we are still spending family time. We're not going to family members this year. We were hosting the holidays here at our house, but with the rise in case we're in Southern California, and if you guys are following the news, man, L.A. County is like leading the country in COVID cases and COVID deaths, and it's getting scary out here. So uh, everybody decided to stay home. So uh, we're planning on that. So we're going to be here. Oh, wait, I got three of these already. So we're here doing our thing. Hang on, I, uh, that's an astronomy thing. Let me get in here and uh, get back to Jingle. I'm going to wrap up my... my uh, I'm going to wrap up... Hey, wait for me. How many people do you guys have? How many do you have? Four already? <laughs> they don't have a spot for me. I'll finish crafting the wrapping paper. You mind if I take them for you? Here you go. I made them for you, Jingle, to spread the jeer. Hey, dude, can you turn that down one notch? Thank you. It's getting crazy over here. The, the kids are getting hype on the other channel. Thank you very much. Here's a little something for you. A set of Toy Day stockings. Ooh, I got one set. I just put them on my wall. So I wonder if this is a duplicate. I wonder what might happen if you hung those in your home tonight. You know, you've been such a help for me so far. And it's only right that I share more of the joy with you. That's right, kid. How'd you like to help me deliver Toy Day presents? Well, I'm not playing Fortnite now. They're doing a squad without me. So, I might as well help Jingle spread the holiday cheer. Seeing the look on everyone's face when you hand them a gift is the most amazing thing. And that is true in life. You young bucks out there, pay attention. That is true. And that's the gift I'd like to share with you, along with maybe another extra special gift for helping out. I'll take it. No time to question it. Here you go, dude. He's just yelling back there. 
no time to question it. Here you go. You'll need one of these. Oh, I got a bag of toys. Look at this. That's a magic bag. It's filled with gifts for each and every resident on the island. It's magical. See? See, I had collected a bunch of stuff, and I have a gift to give everybody. But I got to do it separately now because uh, I'm going to do this toy bag thing. Now, I should tell you that the magic will wear off at 5 a.m. <laughs> so that's when I'm leaving, too. Okay. But if you make your deliveries and return with the magic bag before then, I'll have a reward for you. Sharing the special joy of Toy Day is its own reward, but I think you'll like what I have, too. Don't worry about my deliveries. I'm happy to share. I know Toy Day is in great hands. All right. I have accepted the challenge, and now i got to go do it. I'm going to go. So I'm talking to, uh, about telescopy stuff. Astronomy, telescopes, astrophotography. Uh, I'm into it. One of these days I'll do a whole, we'll do some just chatting. And I'll get the camera somehow out to show the telescope how it all works. Because it's pretty cool. Uh, no Try Mike says, just want to look at what I'm looking at. And have you have a huge dark backyard. It would be perfect for a telescope. Well, definitely listen to anything I got to say. Yeah, they rate how dark your area is. There's a scale called the Bortle Scale, B-O-R-T-L-E. And there's even apps. There's apps that'll tell you kind of where you are and what you do. Uh, if they're free. I'm going to tell them I'm going to give a little tip on one right now. Just because it's fun to look it up. There's a app called Clear Outside. Clear outside, like, hey, it's clear outside. Currently, here in Southern California, it's overcast. So, no telescope. And it looks like this. This actually comes up on the defaults, like in England somewhere. But these charts are what you're going to learn to read right here. This will start to tell you how clear it is. See, so, if it's all zeros, that means it's perfectly clear. So, in uh, De uh, Exeter, Devon, UK, it's perfectly clear. So you'll look up where you're, where you're from. Okay, so here it changes. Then you'll see it's going to get cloudy. So the white or gray or levels of blue. Man, I'm trying, I can't tell if it's coming in focus or not. Uh, will tell you how much your cloud cover is. Low clouds, usually are rain clouds. High clouds. And the percentage is whether you have good visual seeing or not. Also at the top. Like I said, the default is like in England somewhere. So it comes up. You'll see Devon, whatever. And then it says in the yellow. Man, you can't read it. Class 5 Bortle. That kind of rates how dark it is. Uh, the lower the Bortle class number, the darker the sky. It also gives like a rating. There's like a 19 point something or another. That's kind of a rating scale of how dark your sky is. If you go out to the middle of the desert, or it sounds like Mike might be in a kind of a rural area where there's not a lot of big cities around, the sky will be darker. You'll see more stars. If you live in the city, you see like one star. You're like, hey, there's the Christmas star. <laughs> and you don't ever see it. King Josh, one, two, three. Hey, what's happening? I'm just rambling on. We're doing a Animal Crossing Toy Day. I have to deliver some presents to all the islanders, villagers, whatever we call them. Uh, but I'm talking telescopes a little bit. I just don't want to lose my thought because No Try Mike was just kind of interested, halfway interested in it. Hey, here we go. So, Bones, I don't know if you know this, but you're carrying a great big bag. Oh, I know. I have a gift for you. Oh, look at They're wrapped. Oh, because duh, I gave him the wrapping paper. Oh, this is neat. Wait. This is from, it's from Santa. Yay. Santa. <laughs> so you're helping out Santa, huh? That is the coolest way to go. See, Astro Drum, there's another name. I got to change my name to Johnny Nikon. That's the channel I went with on Twitch because that was my email address on my Twitch channel. But, anyways, Astro Drum comes from astronomy and I play the drums. Okay, so, uh, Bones got one. Stand by. You go in here and deliver some, deliver some Christmas joy. 
There's also there's also apps that tell you what's in the sky. Like, yeah, get that class. It'll start to tell you. And then you can just do, like, my location. Your phone will find your location. It'll tell you how dark your sky is. And you see when it's clear or not. Start just looking. If, you, you know, you're interested, you kind of look. And when you see those zeros, like, 100%, Go outside and you'll look up and you'll be like, whoa, yeah, there, I see a lot more stars tonight. Because, you know, it's telling you that it's a nice night. That's kind of the whole point of it. Uh, the, the other app um, that I use, they have a free version for iPhone, I believe. I actually paid for mine. It's called Sky Safari Pro. And there's a bunch of these. These are just like astronomy apps. Here, because um, I have a few. Star Map has had Star Map has had like several iterations: a free version, then a paid version, and then a newer paid version. But I've jumped over to Sky Safari Pro, and that's like a telescope astronomy thing. So when you click it, you can um, you go. You know, it shows you the night sky, basically. So you can hold it, and it's like geocentric whatever. So you point it up at the sky. You're like, what are those bright stars right there? And then it's like on your phone. And then you look, and you're like, oh. And it tells you all the stuff that's in the sky right in that area. But like I said, there's a bunch. If you just do astronomy, uh, planetarium is what it also might be called, astronomy app, there's a million. There's a bunch for free. Just get a free one. Or look up Sky Safari Pro. Then you can start identifying the things that are in the sky. And you'll realize that the brightest stars in the sky are not stars at all. Those are our planets. And fun to look at. That's how you start in astronomy for free. All right, let me... Uh... Grizzly. Hey, what do you got in the bag, kiddo? You find some of Santa's old laundry? Hey, you like that one? Ha ha ha, He's funny. Fun. I have a gift for you. Oh yeah? A present from Santa? Well, that's swell. Thanks for bringing it by, girl. And to tell you the truth, it's even more swell that you're the one bringing it. That's too. Cheesy baby Henry, what's happening? Are you, uh, Henry, are you in a new, is this a new email or a new uh, login or did you on a different system or what's going on? Yeah, check out those apps. They're super cool. And that's a good way to start looking at the sky, like I said, for free. And understanding what's out there, what you're looking at, what's going on. And on the Sky Safari Pro, and I'm not sure about the free version, but there's even like audio stuff. So when you see something, you can okay. click on it and it'll highlight on the app. And there's like an audio. You play it and it'll say, this is, you know, this is the uh, whatever. I could do one. I'll show, I'll show it to you. Look at Rosie. Hey, you have got to spill it. What's in the bag, silly? I have a gift for you. Oh, she got a sandwich. A gift for me? From you? Oh, it's from Santa. And Jingle asked you to help with the deliveries, huh? Hmm. That's Trace cute. <laughs> That's funny. I like Rosie. <laughs> Rosie's new. I like Rosie. Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do something real quick. Welcome to the Astronomy Hour, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for some Animal Crossing gameplay, it's on hold just for a minute while I zoom. What's cool is when you do the time, it's like, wait, oh, stand by. See, I'm, I'm like moving through time right now. What's, what's funny is it's glitching on the um, frame refresh rate of the monitor was like glitching it okay so in the night sky for winter it's sort of the famous winter oh here you can look at this tonight moon the moon is going to be in the sky right near mars so go out there and look 
Wait, I'm always trying to find my... Oh, man, I moved it. Dang it. I told you how this is like you point it at the sky and it uh, will point to what you're looking at. It keeps, resu it keeps reverting back to 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock here in Southern California. And uh, I got to zoom it ahead to nighttime. And then when I put, turn it around, it kind of reboots itself. Okay, so tonight, you'll be able to see... Here, I'll back it up because you guys are... A lot of you guys are not in this time zone. At about here, 8 o'clock tonight. I want it to stay like that. At about 8 o'clock tonight, you'll see the moon. Hang on. Oh, man, I can't... You'll see the moon. Oh, it reset. Darn it. The moon and Mars. You'll be able to look up in the sky. You'll see the moon. And just to the northwest of it a little bit, you'll see a bright star that looks a little orange in the sky. That's the planet Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this one that I use is called uh, Sky Safari Pro. And I believe there's a free version of Sky Safari. Sky Safari. You can use almost any one, but that's the one I've zeroed in on. And then I, so I have in there set up my telescope with all my different eyepieces because they have different magnification and power. So you can turn that on and so it'll show you like what you'll see in your telescope. You set it up for your telescope and your camera so you get an idea of what your camera is going to see visually. What I was going to do is play the audio because it's kind of cool. But I was trying to get to darkness. And that's why I keep messing up. Because the on your phone, when you go like this to the sky, it'll show you what you're looking at. So as I turn it around, it resets to it keeps resetting to the current time. Stand by. Stand by. The other sort of really cool thing in the night sky is Orion, the constellation Orion. And you notice those three stars in a row. That's Orion's belt and there's a little sore. No, Orion. And so I was going to show in the in the thing, you can't see it, but when you click on the thing, see now it tells me that's the Orion Nebula. And then you go selection, uh, object info, and see it shows you like a cool, super cool picture of it. Hang on, wait. It shows you like a super cool picture of it. Hang on, it's all blown out with my light. And it gives you more info. And up at the top says audio tour. M42 is the great nebula in Orion, one of the most spectacular sights in the sky, and without doubt the best of the nebula. It is within the sword of Orion, due south of the famous three stars that make a belt. The nebula can be glimpsed as an odd square edged star with the unaided eye. But to even the smallest telescope, M42 is a swirling world of gas with twists and turns, like spilled fluid caught mid-splash and frozen. The nebula has impressed many as seeming to be in motion and looks like something almost alive. The American astronomer Bernard said M42 looked like a dusty bat flying into the field of the great one-meter refractor at Yerkes. Binoculars show M42 to be a fan-shaped cloud associated with a few faint stars. Only slightly larger telescopes show the structure of the nebula and the famous trapezium. This is a set of at least four stars tightly associated like dancers in the middle of a floor, uncertain which of the available partners to take in arm. Photos of M42 are common, but usually the center is burned out, and the interior details, which the eye picks out readily, are That's not the hard recorded. Part. None can appreciate... What did I do? Ryan Nebula from the evidence of pictures alone. It must be seen at the eyepiece. M42 is a cloud about 1,500 light years away. Although its gas is rarefied and like a vacuum by earthly standards, so large is M42 that its mass is 10,000 times that of the sun. You get the drift. object. It's a star making zone. Stars are being born in there right now. 15,000? What did he say? 15,000 light years away. See? That's exactly it. So forget all the stuff the guy's going to tell you at the telescope store. I'll guide you. 
Because you sit out there with even a simple telescope, you point it at the sky and you play yeah. that. And your kids are going to be like, ah, oh, for two seconds. And then they're going to be like, I'm going back inside to play video games. But it's super cool. You get your lawn chair out. You sit out there. If you like to, you know, we're family friendly. But if you like to enjoy wine or something else while you're sitting out there under God's nature, in the holy nature of the sky, you might partake in whatever you partake in and sit out there looking at it and play this. And you'll be like... Before you know it, hours and hours and hours will pass. That's yeah, fun yeah, stuff. That. Anyway, Shell's in. Shell's Ponds is in. What's happening? Hey, Merry Christmas Eve. Thank you for stopping in. Thanks for coming by the channel. VIP in the house. He's got a first badge and a VIP, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? Oh, hi, and mom and dad. Hey, mom and dad coming in. They're like, what is this Twitch thing you guys are playing games on all day long? <laughs> Sheldon, if you guys don't know, I've told you, I told everybody about it. I talk about you guys on almost every channel or every time I'm on. Uh, Sheldon and Krista stream Call of Duty. Go check them out. If you're into Call of Duty, you got to see that stuff. Go do it. We're doing Animal Crossing right now because... The kids don't want to play with me. Oh, wait, I got my camera, my, my Christmas tree camera. Wait a minute, I'm trying to show off. My Christmas tree camera is uh, is rebooting. Stand by, it'll connect. It reconnects on its own. So hopefully you're still here. See? Just keep it right there, at least just keep it right there. No try mics, like, ah, it's exactly what I want to do. Yep, go out there with your chair, lay back, do your thing and start to because it's cool to look at this night sky right we're talking about astronomy krista's in there too yes you heard animal crossing come in and play we're online it's toy day today in animal crossing krista just got started on animal crossing sheldon tried to get started got booted off the switch had to get his own switch believe me i feel you bro i have been booted off many times that's why i have one right there so, absolutely, Animal Crossing, today is Toy Day, and in fact, I'm helping Jingle pass out Christmas presents to all the villagers. That's what I'm doing. BRB. The second cam came back on, it's on the Christmas tree. We have a Star Wars only Christmas tree that we're gonna highlight on the stream here tomorrow. We're gonna do a little tour of the Christmas tree. Because a lot of our Christmas tree ornaments, the Star Wars stuff, make sounds and stuff. So Axel's out and about. Renee, oh, I saw Renee earlier. She's out and about with her hat on. That's Grizzly. Oh, here's Axel. Whoa, that's got to be the third biggest bag of stinky gym clothes I've ever seen. Wonk. The third. <laughs> get it started, Sheldon. It's fun. I mean, it's no Call of Duty. No one's going to get you while you're not looking. But it's super fun. You know, I've been a, I've been on Animal Crossing for a long time. And this new one is great. A gift from Santa? Hold on. You're doing Santa's heavy lifting? That's awesome. You're totally crushing it. If there's anyone here that could play for Team Santa, it'd totally be you. <laughs> you know what? I want to thank you for helping out the big guy on the big job. Touchdown, he says. Oh, he gave me a gift. Nice. I still can't believe you're working for Santa. That's like getting into the Table Tennis Hall of Fame. <laughs> Amazing. There was a time when I may have been in the ten Table Tennis Hall of Fame. If you don't know, I got tournament trophy. Probably thrown away by now. But I got a tournament trophy when my team won the ping pong tournament. More on that story. If you hit me on the DM, I'll tell you all about it. Let's see. Zell is out and about. I saw him around too. Let's go down here. I gotta deliver everybody a Christmas gift before 5 a.m. Or else I'm in trouble with Santa and everybody else. So that's what I gotta get doing. <laughs> Sheldon, I have a, let's just say I have a first place trophy with a ping pong guy on top of it. All right. Tournament. All right. 
And you know to get to the championship, there's a lot of losses to get there. So I got all the pink ping pong tricks in my up my sleeve. If you ever want to play, let me know. It's been a long time since I played. It's been a long time since I played, obviously. Hey, are you okay carrying that giant bag around? You need some help? My Muay, my oh my Muay Thai instructor said I'm the strongest one in the class, so I'm here for you, Chickadee. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know Piper was in the Muay Thai. <laughs> yeah, you need no more. Hey, ping pong. Let's get it on. Ping pong. I'm into. Well, I have to dig out and out of storage, find my paddle and stuff. I gotta, I gotta pro paddle the whole thing. You'll see. Seriously, for me, but it's from Santa, right? Chickadee, I'm so happy right now. Thank you. Oh, that's funny. That's Piper. <laughs> Ping pong. Oh, there was a time, man. I thought I was something. Another little bit, Sheldon, if you're listening, there was a, uh, in fact, where I used to work at the ad agency, uh, there were some others of us. Oh, you got to go. Hey, family stuff is important. I'll tell you more about ping pong another time. Enjoy the holiday. Say hi to everybody. You have some good food. Hopefully you barbecued something. Didn't make mom cook. Have fun. We'll see you. Uh, back to telescopes. I think I gave Mike, Mike the, the right understanding. We're on the same page. What, what he wants to do. Here's Lopez. I complain as much as the next deer about not having enough pockets in my designer jeans. <laughs> but I never thought to carry around a giant bag to make up for it. <laughs> What's in there anyway? I have a gift for you. That was a funny line. You know what? All of their, their toy day lines have been pretty funny. Wait, this is from Santa? Delivered by you? By Doom. How'd you get that gig? Seriously. Did I miss an audition or something? Uh, don't let me buy your humbug. You're doing great. That's cool. What is this called? The snowball knocker and balloons? Like, literally, that's definitely a Nice. Brisket and crab legs on the Traeger. We're doing steak and some lobster claws from Costco. Uh, they got them lobster claws like 15 bucks. For dinner tonight, brisket tomorrow. We were having family and stuff over, but that, those plans have changed. We're to be by ourselves. Right now, I'm busy delivering Christmas cheer to everybody on my island. Oh, Hamphrey. Uh, look at Hamphrey. See, he's got more bonsai trees. I don't even have those. Seriously. How do I get those trees from Hamfrey? Every time I come in here, I'm like, ah. I did get one bonsai tree you saw. I got it as a gift. Brisket, Christmas brisket is going to be delicious. Hamfrey says, you trying to get into the delivery business? I think we're pretty much covered on this island, kiddo. I have a gift for you. He's eating candy. He's walking around the house eating the candy. <laughs> a gift for me? Twist my arm, why don't you? Oh, it's from Santa. Don't that beat all. My friend working for Santa himself. <laughs> He's got a heater on in there. Look at the camping heater. <laughs> Hamfrey. Hamfrey's funny. He's one of my favorites. I like Hamfrey. We are, uh, my lighting is changing in my room. I gotta, uh, I gotta, uh, put some more light in. All right, let's, um, take the shortcut. Here's my island, everybody. Yeah, I know I'm passing those things up. Yeah, I know I gotta maintenance my flowers. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Oh, this person's out, too. Oh, Bones. I already gave Bones one. I've been needing to invite. Ooh, and every time I come over here, I'm nervous that it's gonna be sold. I have to invite somebody. 
too busy with All Fortnite. Right. I gotta invite Back somebody. Again. Okay, so, wait a minute, have I done everybody? No, I didn't get Renee. I didn't get Zell yet. Renee? Renee and Zell, I think, are the only two left, and they're out and about. Bones I got. Renee and Zell. There's Zell. Or did I already give him one? Hey! Uh, uh, yo, it's been forever and a day since we've talked, hasn't it? Like one month or something, wow. Well, better late than never. It, when it comes to Zell, light rail prompt. Wait, what's that noise? Does it, what, what noise does a light rail make? Oh, are oversized bags back in style? I should dig mine out of storage. <laughs> What's in there anyway? I have a gift for you. So I don't, that's the first time I've heard him talking about trains. He's like, the light rail coming down the... Wow, this is from Santa, the real Santa, right? It wasn't just someone else in the red suit, right? Don't ask me why I'm asking. <laughs> Somebody must have tricked him once before. Now, I saw Renee wandering around. Wait, there's Jingle. I'm not ready to talk to Jingle yet. I haven't finished. Oh, and I gotta get the Christmas outfit. Look at the Christmas dress or whatever that is in the window. Here's Renee. That bag you got looks pretty just like... looks. Pr uh, that bag you got there looks just like Santa's. Pretty big, too. So it's stuffed with presents or what? I have a gift for you. For me, if I don't know better, I'd say I was just a genuine present from Santa Claus. Wild that he's got you running his errands. I guess he knew how much it mean to me. A yup yup, a yup yup. So now I've given everybody a present, right? I've given everybody a present. Here's Jingle. Let's talk to him here at the Christmas tree farm. Ho, ho. How do the deliveries go? I think I'm all done. Ho, ho. Hmm. Let's see here. You're all done. Each and every present is exactly where it should be. Ah. I can feel the toy day magic and joy radiating from every corner of the island. Guess you won't be needing that magic bag anymore. I'll go ahead and take it off your hands. I'm so thankful that I could share this magic of Toy Day with you. But it's not just all talk. I have gifts for you. First up is a little recipe that I think will make the uh, things even more festive around here. And then something extra special. Your very own Toy Day sleigh. See, I'm trying not to be complaining. But if you heard me talking about Thanksgiving and Halloween, I was online with some other guys last night, kind of going over the same thing. And too little, too late. I needed this two weeks ago. All right, but anyway. You help make Toy Day extra magical for everyone living on Barbecue Island. You know that? And hey, I've said it before, but it still rings true. That makes me a happy little reindeer. Well... Now that my, excuse me, now that our work is done, I think a well-deserved little break. I think we need a well-deserved little break. Maybe we'll run into each other another day. Wait. We'll run into each other again on some far-off toy day in the future. See you later, kid. Like, that's it? That's it? Well, wait a minute. Another year, another toy day. It's always special. I'll be back again next year, of course. Maybe we'll run into each other then. I'd like that. I'll see you later, kid. I'm excited and happy, and at the same time a little sad. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
That's awesome. I gotta put that right here. After all I went through for that dar dab gum bench. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Oh, Axel gave me a gift. What did he give me? Oh, an RC helicopter. That's awesome. Oh, here's the gift pile. Let's learn the gift pile. Sweet. I learned a DIY for a gift pile. Let's go make a gift pile. I'll stick it here in my little area. I'll put the gift pile here in my little area. My barbecue restaurant is needs some cleaning up. I'm ready for some updates on the barbecue restaurant. Let's craft Christmas pile, red wrapping paper, wood block toy, and a cardboard box. Wooden block toy, red wrapping paper. Wow, let's go get some stuff. Let's build, try and build that today. I have not been buying wrapping paper. I typically don't pick up wrapping paper. But I know they sometimes have it in here, right? Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. Uh, green wrapping paper. Yellow wrapping paper. I need red. Oh, no. Oh, not that. I don't want more. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to have to visit some other islands, and I plan to do that today, so... Let's see. All right. Well, I'm pretty excited about what's happening here in Toy Day. I can't, I have a gift for everybody um, that I was planning to give. I didn't expect to do that today with everyone. But I'll do it again. I'll go around to everybody's house. And he did tell me to put the Toy Day stockings up at my house. Now, I have some stockings on the wall already. But I'm going to see if these are different. Or I'll also put them up. Let's see. I could probably even... I wonder if I can even scoot that over and get them both to fit on the wall at, at once. What do you think? No, two won't fit. I could go higher, which is weird, but... But let's see. Oops. Let's see. Oh, they're different colors, which is awesome. Okay, I dig that. But here, let's let's try to. Oops. Let's try to organize my area a little bit. I don't mind them being staggered on the wall at the same time, but that's just a little too low. There we go. I dig that. That's cool. All right. Back to the floor. Back out. Look at look at my area. Looking pretty festive now. There's my bonsai tree. So see my bonsai tree? I got that as a gift. One crazy grand sent that to me. I don't know if she's still on. Uh, oh, you guys want to play with me? I'll come and play. The kids are summoning, summon, summoning me. I'm going to log off of Animal Crossing right so now. Wait, you guys don't have room for me? Oh, somebody got to open up a Christmas gift. What do you get? 
What is it? What did he get? Shoes? Johnny got a gaming chair and somebody else got some fresh dragon something. What? Huh? He said it was shoes. They're on a Zoom call over there. <laughs> oh, he didn't get to choose. I thought he said he got some shoes. I'm like, look at the fresh shoes. Welcome into the channel, everybody. If you're here and you're following along, I appreciate you stopping in. I know it's busy. Lots of family stuff is going on. You've heard me say it before, I'm blessed to be able to spend time with my family, my son, my number one. Normally, we play together, and the, the friends online are asking me to come over and play with them. Jay Vader still is not sure about this. But what's happening is, uh, I got on and did my Animal Crossing, did some Toy Day stuff, super fun. I'm probably going to stop the stream now, restart a new one with a new title so that it's titled appropriately. I'm going to jump over on Fortnite. Probably play some matches with the crew and keep the party train going. I'm going to come back to Animal Crossing at some point because I need red wrapping paper to make my gifts. Uh, and I'm going to have to travel because my store today doesn't have red. It has green and yellow. I bought them both. So I'm hopefully going to visit some other friends and family's islands and find some red wrapping paper. But in the middle of all that stuff, we're going to do some Fortnite. Oh, Heart of Coal. Hey, 92. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Thank you for stopping in. Hopefully everything is done. Hopefully you got your shopping done. The other day, uh, Heart of Coal was on. RX7, hey, what's happening? Uh, and she was like, a uh, little bit of gaming first, then I'm going to go shopping. And the gaming just kept going and going and going and going. <laughs> and I'm like, the shopping is going to have to wait. <laughs> Gameplay is happening right now. So uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. I'm going to wrap up this Animal Crossing thing right now. Get on and do some Fortnite, I think. And then, uh, yeah, she's like, yep. Minecraft guy, what's happening? He's my biggest fan. Uh, he wants us to play more Minecraft on, on the channel, which we plan on doing. May not happen today, though, Minecraft guy. Uh, I am going to do some Fortnite with the crew. I'm going to come back to Animal Crossing because it's toy day. It's the big thing. Uh, so we'll do some more of that. We're going to visit some islands, visit some family members to wish them Merry Christmas. Uh, real life family members. We're going to go to their islands and all that stuff. So. Minecraft guy, thank you for the thank, thank you for the, the, the kind words. I appreciate it. Rocket League. I'm not sure if we're going to play Rocket League today. I'm not sure if we're going to play Minecraft today. Because I think we're going to do some Fortnite and then more Animal Crossing. And then we'll see. We'll see. But thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to stop this one and start another one. So if you want to hang out, come back in. Check in with us. We'll be doing some Fortnite and some other gameplay. No try mics. I'm still hanging around. We're going to jump over and try and do some of that. So peace and love. Peace and love. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. GG Baby Henry, what's happening? Now you're back on your other account. VIP in the house. Uh, first... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, founder. Uh, first uh, VIP founder in the house. GG Baby Henry. Oh, see, look it. <laughs> you got them both going. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to stop this one and change my title and stuff so that people don't get tricked wanting to come see Animal Crossing and then they see a whole bunch of kids shooting and fighting, fighting each other. Yeah, I don't know. I see that on there. <laughs> GG Baby Henry's got two going Or an imposter It's back to Among Us They've been playing Among Us all morning It's crewmate or imposter You might be able to play with us in Fortnite However, we already have four players They don't even got a spot for me So I don't know that we're going to be able to play with too many people Today uh, Because they already got four players on And I'm going to make five And so we'll have to see <laughs> GG Baby Henry's got two going. I don't know if you got the old system fired up or what's happening. You got one on mobile and one on uh, system on the phone or something. But I'm going to stop this. 
And I'll be back online in just a few minutes. Yeah, who's the real one? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll be... Uh, if I'm on my own, it'll just be yeah, me. It'll be me and Minecraft guy and uh, RX-7. I'll have to see if they got room for me. They're doing creative right now, so I can get in on the on the creative uh, part. <laughs> OMG, there's an imposter. A GG Baby Henry imposter is in the chat. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thanks for stopping by, uh, putting up with the telescope stuff, the barbecue stuff, everything that we've been talking about. Merry Christmas Eve. You'll see me online again here in a few minutes. So uh, hang in there. Oh, GG Baby Henry's got even the, <laughs> he's got the, the chat. They don't? All right. Uh, I'll be back, everybody. Oh, I'm the real one. Uh-oh. Now there's a debate about the real GG Baby Henry. Come back in a few minutes.